Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page by page of my common sense. I try to keep it down and nitty gritty under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, I'm very, 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 very fucking important. And not important to liberals, libertars, people who believe in God, people who like to smoke, people who like to drink, people like ayahuasca, people like DMT, people who just cannot think outside the box. So I make these videos and pertaining to common sense. And, of course, some topics may be controversial or probably subjective, but everything is subjective if you want to think it like that, okay? All right? So, if it's subjective to you, it's subjective to you. To me, I say it's common sense. Like, one plus one can equal a plus sign. And, of course, um, like, A plus B equal to C, you know? But, of course, that may not seem like common sense, A plus B equal to C, because just in order... Because if you have C and D, does it equal E? No, it does not. So that's not really too much common sense. But some fool out there would say black is a color and white is a color. But there are different types of colors. But it's okay. Subjective. I don't think black or white or gray is a color. But it's a shade of color, if you want to say it that way, technically. But of course, anyway... Let's get on with the topic now here. If you have any comments, questions, insults, or roast you put it down below. Today's topic will be about very short and simple because I had a discussion with my brothers. And I want to make it clear because when I write things down as I discuss with my Ninja Turtle brothers and my videos, I want to make it very clear that which life is more important? Okay, which life is more important? If you're the son of your father, okay, and you know your father. Do you feel your life is more important than your father's life? Because that's real important. That's why I say that blue lives is more important than all lives. And red lives is more power than pretty much all lives, okay? And, you know, if you know what red means, okay, it's not just Native Americans, okay? It means uh, the ambulance, fire, the, the, the army, the military. So let me put you in the scenario here. The military's job and the police's job is to protect lives, they vowed, they put themselves through a vow to protect and serve American lives. Also in your other country as well. So if you're in a country and you stand side by side to another person, how do you value your life? I don't value my life more important than the cop's life. I don't my value my life more important than the fucking military's life. Because the military is meant to be a soldier. They're, they're meant to be protectors of lives and they have the necessary skills to protect other lives so if i were to fall down a hole or something and then i know a military man is right next to me he might want to save my life but i don't want him to save my life because his value is more important than my value you understand what i'm saying we're about to fall down a hole let's think about this scenario you guys we can put it with a father too a father and son okay you have to put a value on each person's life Okay, and this is why I don't like the George Floyd and Nipsey Hussle's values of life because that's an infamous way of publicizing um, a political uh, uh, indecency. Okay, because you know the media is controlled by mainly Jewish individuals and yada yada yada. So you're about to fall off the edge, and I'm about to fall off the edge. Now, his, his job as a military man or a police officer is to save my life because he took the job to do that. Okay? Just as a father and his son. Now, the son is mature enough to know that I'm a great dad. My daughter's know good enough to know I'm a great dad as well. It depends on the level of a person to care so much, but I would not want to, my life to be saved by a soldier. Okay? I want, before he falls, I'm going to save him. It's kind of like um, that scene in um, Infinity Wars when Hawkeye and Widow one person had to sacrifice themselves in order to get the, you know, the soul stone, okay? Someone has to give a sacrifice up. And what happens is that, okay, uh, the Hawkeye was going to jump, but Widow saved his life so she can sacrifice her life. Sorry, spoilers. And so what happens is that, you know, that's the whole importance of life. Whose value of your life? How do you equate your life to value? Now, you already know I'm a noble person. I, I would not want my military serviceman to save my life because his life is more important than mine. If we're both about to fall and the only way to save one another is to, one of us to sacrifice one another, I'll be the one to do that. 
But the military person might not want my life to be spared. I mean, he wants my life to be spared and he'll sacrifice his life. Think about that. Think about the word sacrifice. Think about the importance of your life, peoples. Stop thinking about black lives. Stop thinking about fucking Native American lives. Stop thinking about all these individual lives. Because all lives really don't matter if you got someone protecting all those lives. And uh, I made that very clear, but my brother Thomas did not want to discuss that because he doesn't understand the value of each person's life. And so if I'm a person that helps so many people, like Mahatma Gandhi, people looked up to Mahatma Gandhi. And then he said, fuck it, okay? I want to make sure that I live and long enough to sacrifice and tell everybody else to sacrifice themselves. But everybody else wanted to sacrifice themselves for him. But that's why he lived a long life, okay? But eventually he was assassinated because he had too much power. He used his mind so people can vote for him and protect him. They sacrificed them, themselves for him. Okay, even though they knew he was the leader, okay, and he, he spoke certain words of power, so his people would sacrifice themselves for him. And of course, this is a very important thing to think about, guys, when you think of your value of your own life. If I had my real father and I knew my real father, because I know my real father's in heaven, okay, he is the one who made me into this world. Why would I, sacri why would I want him to sacrifice himself for, to save my puny little life? Remember, we only live less than 100 years old. And if you use enough common sense, you'll understand the importance of your fucking life. If someone's doing more to society, and then you you haven't done shit for society, and then it's, it's time to die, someone has to give up, or God came down and said, what would you rather choose? Da, 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 da. Say all these words and shit. Would you sacrifice yourself for the person who did a greater good for humanity? Or would you just let him sacrifice himself? For your own selfish deeds. Put yourself in the position of a god. Okay, Put yourself in a position like myself. Okay, <laughs> Because most people don't understand the value of their life. They think their value of life is fucking on top of the world. They say, hey, you know, they are supposed to sacrifice themselves. I'm like, that's fucking selfish as fuck. You're supposed to sacrifice yourself for your fellow uh, soldier. For your fellow army men. You're supposed to do as what your government says, but not in the sense of where everybody's unhappy, like V for Vendetta. So if you watch V for Vendetta, those people were, were being dictated by a, a good man, as a matter of fact. I looked at it, the movie differently. And as strict as he was, the people were happy, but then sometimes people would disappear in the middle of the night because they wasn't supposed to be outside, okay? And so that's how I looked at the movie, and then there was an, an alternative, there was a, a twist to the movie because... Uh, all of the experiments that went array, awry, okay, whatever, uh, they came back to haunt them and the Jewish people that probably did those experiments. But that's two different subjects in one movie. But what I saw in the movie was that the people was at peace. Maybe there were people disappearing because it was after hours, okay? But if you watch V for Vendetta, there's a big, there's two messages in there, okay? If you do bad things, bad things come back to haunt you. But the moral what I'm saying here, this is less than 10 minutes, is that if you value your life more higher than the military serviceman, or you value your life more higher than the motherfucking policeman, I think you, we have a problem with understanding what respect is for your own fucking father. So if your father is living, and you won't want to sacrifice yourself for your father, and you would rather have your father sacrificed, okay, then of course something's wrong. And that is how most people think. Most people think of not sacrificing themselves, okay, for the greater good. And that's sad. And that's all I really wanted to say about that. I'm going to title this video, um, How Do You Value Your Life, okay, with All Lives Matter. And that's all I really wanted to say, people. Peace.